Caitlin Clark is continuing to prove those doubters wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is looking like right now that she's unanimous rookie of the year, right? But we want to start putting her name in MVP conversations, man. Her team in the Indiana Fever are on a four-game winning streak, ladies and gentlemen. And Caitlin Clark looked better than expected, bro. She looks dominant. She looked like one of the best players in the world, ladies and gentlemen. In those four games, chat, she is averaging 16 points per game, seven rebounds per game, seven assists per game. Her shooting splits is 48, 37, and 91 shooting splits, right? Plus 9.3. The first rookie in WNBA history to average 16, 7, and 7 over any four game span. She's having a historical rookie season, ladies and gentlemen, bruh. And it's about time for y'all to start notice, right? Y'all was not talking about Caitlin Clark in the in the first games, in the first week of her career in the WNBA, when she was playing what 16 games in, in 19 nights and stuff like that, right? And she was going against some of the best. You know, uh, uh, teams in the league, right? Like the Liberty, like the Connecticut Suns, like the Aces as well, right? Y'all don't talk about that. Y'all don't talk about how they were literally scheming against her like she was the MVP, like she was Steph Curry and stuff like that. Y'all don't talk about that. And the slander about Caitlin Clark in the first couple of weeks in the WNBA was so loud. But now the Indiana Fever are starting to get chemistry. They're starting to get continuity. Caitlin Clark is running that point. She's, she's a vanish creation. She's creating open looks for Aaliyah Boston. Leah Boston and Caitlin Clark connection is going wild. You got Natasha Smith who's playing good as well. You got uh, um, Kelsey Mitchell who is playing unbelievable as well well right so y'all don't give right Caitlin Clark the credit on how she is individually changing the the Indiana Fever team bro she is her impact her advantage creation her efficiency in these last four games have been unbelievable right and is now producing to the Indiana Fever being in the playoff spot bro they're in the playoff spot they're in the eighth seed and just to let y'all know people that are not familiar about the WNBA the first eight seed, the top eight seeds, right? Um, because they got like 12 teams and stuff like that. The top eight seeds are eligible to go in the playoffs. And Caitlin Clark got the Indiana Fever in the playoffs right now. So where is the haters going to say now? Where is the haters going to say now? Y'all sat there and said Caitlin Clark wasn't doing nothing. You sat there and said Caitlin Clark, she, she, she just all hype, right? She's the next white hope. Well, she's then producing on the court. She's producing on the court. Playmaking, passing, advantage creation, being able to score, being able to shift the defense, which is creating open looks for Kelsey Mitchell, creating open looks for Aaliyah Boston in that pick and roll, bro. Natasha Smith, bro. They are starting to gel and starting to have a feel for each other, bro, and starting to develop chemistry and continuity, right? And it's crazy how it was the, the slander about Caitlin Clark in her first couple of games in the WBA because she was not playing good. As y'all gotta understand, bro, she was just in the women's college basketball bracket she was in a like she was in a national championship game and then after the national championship game after putting a, producing a historical uh college run to the national championship game again right she only had two weeks off and then she was getting drafted by the indiana fever and then a couple of days it was already preseason game so she didn't even have a full month to be able to process process let her body heal right recover work on her skills work on her flaws because bro the next couple of weeks she was already playing preseason games for the indiana fever like they haven't even developed chemistry and continuity with the team bro that's why i just think that you know the, the wnba slash college basketball women's college basketball gotta fix that because the rookie is gonna have to start having like months off bro just like the nba players but they're gonna have to start doing that but bro caitlin clark bro she's the face of the wnba Bro, um, I guess that Indiana Dream uh, game tonight, um, it was another sellout. The thing was packed. Um, she is selling out arenas consistently. And I'm not talking about just, though, just the normal, you know, standard to the selling out arena to the WBA. Bro, she's selling out arenas 7, 17,000, 16,000, 18,000, bro. That, bro, what she's doing is, is unbelievable right now, bro. And we're going to have to start giving credit to Caitlin Clark. She is having a historical rookie season, chat. She literally is. So, at the end of the day, I give Caitlin Clark her respect. She's winning. She's dominating. 
And at the end of the day, when you dive deep in the water, when you break it down, she is leading this team to the playoffs. She's leading this team, this Indiana Fever team, to the playoffs. So now the schedule, when you look at their next schedule, it looked favorable for them because at the end of the day, now she's starting to get the feel. Now she's starting to get the chemistry with her teammates. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Christy Sides are starting to coach well. Bro, uh, bro, they're looking good, bro. Give a credit to Leah Boston. Leah Boston has been dominant. She's been much better and just being a, that pick and roll role man, um, um, capitalizing off of Caitlin Clark advantages, Kelsey Mitchell being really good as a scorer. I think she's at like averaging 19, 20 points in the, la in the last four games for the Indiana Fever. Bro, she's looking good. She's looking great. Give respect to Caitlin Clark. And also, she's the reason why y'all watching. She's the reason why you're producing videos, live streams, covering the WNBA. She's the reason why you're talking about the sport. So y'all just got to give respect to Caitlin Clark. There ain't no race, right? There ain't there ain't none of that. She's just skilled as a basketball player. Her range, her playmaker, her pass, her ability to push, push the pace, off ball value, all of that. Give respect to Caitlin Clark because she's dominating right now, right? And also, too, chat, just to let y'all know, uh, Caitlin Clark is second in all star voting. Second, right? And she close to first with Aja Wilson. And she's a rookie. She's a rookie, and she's second in fan voting. An all-star vote with what 400 some thousand <laughs> give her respect Caitlin Clark much respect dominating real talk she is shutting the doubters up right now it's your Mookie is your boy Mookie Jones those are my thoughts I holler